Okay, we're going to talk about um, adding some equipment that your customers may have here into our software. So if, uh, if you service any equipment and need to keep track of repairs or need to keep track of their equipment for some reason, we've accounted for that in our software. Again, we um, service a wide variety of industries. So you may even be a um, rental radio company. For example, we have some companies that rent out radios. Um, and they need to really take advantage of the equipment because they do track repairs and, and things that are missing. So we're going to talk about how to set these up today. The first thing is if we go to customer info, customer list, we're going to get a list of our customers. And then let's just say we want to set up equipment for one of them. Double click them. Double click the name listed in blue. It'll bring you into the uh, detail. And in here we have a tab called equipment. If you click on this tab, you have um, a bunch of fields. It starts with MISC1 and MISC2 here, and then a bunch of blanks. Basically, every one of these fields are customizable. So what we can do is the only one that is not customizable is the equipment name, active, and route frequency. These are options that you're going to need. Um, this MISC1 and MISC2, we can adjust those. I'm going to go ahead and just add a piece of equipment. Let's say that... Um, you are a radio rental company, but again, you can use this for any reason that you need to track equipment. Just put in the name of the equipment. I'm going to use a very standard name here. We'll just say it's radio. And you want to check it off as being active. If this is equipment they're still using, it needs to be active. If it's no longer being used, just uncheck it. It'll make it inactive. But to add equipment onto a task and other things, you have to have it marked as active. You do not have to put in a route frequency. This is related to route stuff. Right now, we're just talking about how to set this up. Now, these are the fields that we may want to customize. Maybe we need to put in a, a field for make. We need to keep track of the make and model. And it's going to ask you, would you like to save this field name when you click out after you type? Hit yes, and it'll save it across the board. Now, every customer detail, not just Alfonso, every customer detail when you click on equipment will show this. We're going to go ahead and put in a model here, and we're going to hit yes to save that. We're going to go ahead and put in maybe we need to know the color of the equipment for some reason, and maybe we need to know uh, what the battery size is. Basically, these are completely customizable, so whatever you need, just put them in here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start typing. So if this is a radio, let's pretend like it came from Sony. We'll go ahead and say it's a Sony piece of equipment. We could tab out. Um, the model, we'll just make one up. Color, we'll say it's gray. And the battery size, I don't know. We'll go ahead and make up a battery size. So from here, the system's going to save this information. If you click close and then go back in, you're going to have this equipment. And again, if we need a new piece, we need to add a, a second piece, go ahead and just start typing and put in whatever info you need. Uh, maybe this one's a different model, et cetera. Now, once you've added equipment, and again, we can edit every field name. So you've got a lot of fields to take advantage of here. If you need to put an in-service date, you can, and an out-of-service date. This is good for tracking. If you want to make it printable, you can select the print button or the print check off here. Once you have the uh, information in there, click close. And maybe it's a pain to go ahead and go through each customer one by one, and you want to see a big spreadsheet of all your customers and all your equipment. You can go up here to the upper left, go to Customer Info, Customer Equipment. So Customer Info, Customer Equipment, and this opens up your equipment list. From here, you can also adjust fields. Maybe we need to add something new here, and yes, to save it. Um, you can also select your customers from right here. Maybe Express Food Mart is taking on a new machine. I can put the name in there, select the vendor, all the other things that we have set up. Later, you can, uh, we'll have another video that shows you how to attach equipment to tasks, and we can go ahead and track it there. But that's basically it. Customer equipment, you have these special fields. You can put in any equipment name that you need, and just click close to save it.